I'm Danny Cannell with CBS Sports HQ, here to help you pick all 40 bowl games versus the spread. In order to do so, I need my guys, Tom Fornelli and Chip Patterson, to help me out. We're going to give you some expertise on these ones. Let's do the Texas Bowl. It is Oklahoma State versus Texas A&M out in Houston. Pretty fun matchup between the uh, Big 12 squad versus the SEC squad. Tom, I'll start with you. You got to lean on this one. Texas A&M is laying seven. Yeah, I'm not very thrilled with either side of the spread here. I think this is one of those situations where if it moves to six and a half or six in that direction, I would take A&M. But if it goes past seven, I would probably be on Oklahoma State. I think this spread is pretty accurate for this matchup. What I like more than anything is the over. You know, it's the Texas Bowl and everything's bigger in Texas. And I feel like that's what we're going to see. We're going to see a lot of points in this matchup. Texas A&M has a good defense and it has had a very strong defense all season long. But we saw at times that against explosive offenses, it had trouble stopping teams. And I think that this Oklahoma State team, while they've had injuries at quarterback, Drew Brown has come in. He's a transfer. He's got plenty of experience from Hawaii. And while he doesn't have the giant arm, he has a very accurate arm. And we have seen this Oklahoma State offense with, you know, weaker armed quarterbacks that are accurate move the ball and put up a lot of points. I think with Chuba Hubbard at running back, they're going to be able to do it. And I think on the offensive side for Texas A&M, I think that their offensive line is going to win the battle most of the day on offense, which is going to allow them to move the ball. And I think Kellen Mond is going to have a good game. He's, you know, he's, he's one of those quarterbacks that is really hard to get a read on because he's a different person at different times in the game. In the first quarter, he might be horrible. In the fourth quarter, he might look like a future NFL first round pick. But I think this is going to be kind of a back and forth high scoring affair. The over is nine and three in Texas A&M's last 12 non-conference games. It's five and one in their last six bowls. So when I look at the matchup of these offenses against one another, I see a lot of points being put on the board. Give me the Aggies. Uh, I'm laying the seven, and, and I'm seeing Texas A&M win this game, maybe even by two touchdowns. You mentioned that Texas A&M offensive line, Tom. They're called the Maroon Goons, and the Maroon Goons average about six, five and a half, three hundred and thirty 330 pounds per goon. And I think that if the line of scrimmage is where Texas A&M has a major advantage against this Oklahoma State team, and if we start to look back at bowl history, the, the Jimbo Fisher's Texas A&M Aggies a year ago took on an NC State team that had Ryan Finley, it had Kelvin Harmon, uh, and they just ran through NC State. It was, it was a bigger team, it was a stronger team, it was a faster team, and I think that they've got a lot of those same advantages here against Oklahoma State. So at seven I understand that in a high-scoring game, as Tom is predicting, I, I might be a little bit nervous, but I, I really see Texas A&M being able to establish an advantage in this game. And then if I, I want just a, a little bit of extra confidence in Texas A&M, it's that they've got all the motivation in the world to come out here and have their best performance. You've got the loss to Georgia and the bad loss to LSU to finish the season. They want to wipe the taste of that out of their mouths. They want to be able to have something that can be a springboard into 2020. So because of the motivation angles, because of the bowl history, and because of what I think is a distinct size and strength advantage, I'm laying the seven points with Texas A&M. Woo, chips going all out there on the Aggies. I don't love it. I actually would favor. I don't love this, but I'm with Tom that I don't love the number in this one. I would lean toward Oklahoma State with Chuba Hubbard. I mean, if this Texas A&M team, if they're not invested, they're going to see a healthy dose of Chuba Hubbard, and that's going to get old after a long time. But I actually do love the over in this game uh, with Tom because what happens typically when you see a Big 12 team play an SEC team? A Big 12 game breaks out. Like all of a sudden, all of a sudden, this high scoring affair breaks out. These SEC defenses that we always talk about, once they face a worthy uh, opponent, all of a sudden we see a lot of points on the board. So I love the over in this one as well. Chip, the reason I have a hard time with Texas AM is I'm having a really tough time forgetting about that 50 to 7 loss against LSU. Like, where yeah. was where was the motivation in that game? Is what I want to know. But I do think there will be a lot of points in that one. So you can either lean with Chip. And the Aggies, you could lean with me slightly towards Oklahoma State, or you get on board, I think, with all three of us, and definitely with Tom, in the over in this one. Should be a fun one nonetheless. No love lost between these two teams. It is the Texas Bowl, Friday, December 27th at 6.45 p.m.